Yeah. Before we get to know more about the operating system, we need to know about the computer system, right? So actually the computer system is an electronic equipment that works under the control of an operating system that can accept input, process, and produce output. So computer system is like this one. So have you ever tried to open your PC? Yes, Maybe sir. you you bulk a new RAM memory or new DDR, and maybe you have ever buy the SSD for your hard drive, and you try to open your uh, your C, uh, PC PC case, then you try to uh, maybe yeah change your your hard drive. Have you tried to open your CPU before? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Not your laptop, but your your CPU. Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, I want to know what what kind of the maybe electronic equipment inside your CPU. So maybe you have the CPU slot like like this one, right? Then yeah. And also there are a graphic card slot slot and PCI slot and. Maybe in the USB memory peripheral beside uh, behind your CPU, right? And the power supply and the slots for her hard disk drives and DVD, like this one. So actually, maybe when we talk about the DVD drive, the modern computer right now, when you buy a new CPU, maybe you will not get the DVD drive again, right? So yeah, so DVD drive is not. Is an old electronic equipment right now. Okay, the computer system is the yeah you know every electronic equipment that works together in your computer. So what is an operating system? An operating system is an interface between a computer user and computer hardware, so that the computer system is easy to use and computer software can be used efficiently. So actually, the operating system is an interface, interface between the computer user and also the electronic equipment inside your computer. Right. So you will not work, you will not use, you will not, uh, you will not can use your computer with, uh, without your operating system. Right. So actually, the operating system is the interface between the hardware and software, and also for the computer user, like this one. Okay, and operating system tasks. So what is the task of the operating system? Operating system has several tasks like process manager, file manager, device manager, and memory manager. So I will ask to you, can you access your file in your computer with a, without operating system? Uh, I don't think so. Though. Yeah, Sorry, I don't think so. So, so uh, what what will happen if your computer if your computer has no operating system? So when you uh, power on your computer, so what will you see? Maybe before you put on your Windows operating system, you will see a black screen inside your maybe your laptop and your CPU or your computer, right? Mm. Yeah. You, yeah. Have you ever have you ever heard about the BIOS, basic input output, BIOS, BIOS. right? No. Uh, By, have you ever heard about BIOS? No? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, I did heard it, but I've never seen it. Okay. Maybe when you, when you want to install the operating system in your computer, you will choose the booting, booting order in your computer, right? So when you, when you want to install your operating system, Windows operating system, you will need a USB flash drive, right? Then you put the operating system inside your USB flash drive. Then you connect your uh, USB into your computer. Then you want to choose that the first boot of the first boot of this operating system will uh, choose the USB. So maybe when you when you bulk a new computer without the operating system. You will just have your computer will just have the BIOS, right? Basic input output system. So BIOS is basic input output system. Maybe yeah, I will uh, talk it later. But 
I want to know, have you ever tried to operate operate the BIOS before? No? No, sir. No, just see before your computer put on your, on your operating system, then you will see that a black screen, right? Black screen before your computer put on the, on the Windows operating system. Yeah, okay, I will talk it later, but I just want to know, have you ever tried to operate the BIOS before? And then if you have not, uh, operate that before. Yeah, I will talk it later. Okay, this is the several tasks that the operating system do. A lot of software to communicate with hardware, recognize and install peripheral devices, manage files and folders, search out system memory, handle system errors and alert user, and manage system security. So actually this is the several tasks that the operating system do in your computer. And this is the example of the operating system. There are Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Solaris, and maybe Android, Windows Phone, Symbian, and MS-DOS. From this operating system, have you tried one of these? Yeah. Uh, except, except Windows, except Windows. And Android. Android. Except Android. Yeah, we do Android and Mac OS. Like Linux, uh, yeah, I also did it. Okay, MS DOS. <clears throat> you try about the MS DOS? No. Uh, no, I don't know about it. Though. Okay, I yeah, actually, Microsoft DOS is maybe you you born in two thousand uh, above the two thousand, right? So MS DOS is the the old version of Microsoft Windows. So it's, yeah, maybe it's uh, 1992. It's widely used in 1992. And I, I also, uh, I ever tried to make MS-DOS, but it's not very, it's not very, uh, maybe it's not very easy to use because when we communicate with our computer, we just use the keyboard without the mouse, right? So, yeah. You can feel that when you use your computer without a mouse, without the with the mouse, and you only use the keyboard for for operate your computer. Yeah, MS DOS is not uh, MS DOS is not use the mouse for operate the operating system. So you only use the keyboard from the Microsoft DOS. Yeah, yeah, and also another operating system like uh, Symbian. Have you heard about this Symbian? No, we don't know. Sorry. No, yes. Uh, Symbian is the operating system for mobile for mobile for smartphone. Before Android, Symbian is very popular. Uh, Android, like you know, the Nokia Nokia era, yeah. maybe two thousand and four until two thousand and six. Yeah, it's very it's Not very well used yeah. for before Android. Okay. Okay. Okay, maybe you you still child, right? <laughs> because you yeah yeah, child, yeah. Child. Hmm. maybe oh when you born two thousand and four have you born uh, two thousand two thousand okay I'm born in two thousand two thousand two thousand okay at two thousand maybe you you still four years old so you you have not uh touch a smartphone like <laughs> in that era okay. Okay, then, yeah, operating system that we will learn in this course will focusing on Windows and Ubuntu. So one of the Linux, one of the Linux operating system is Ubuntu. So actually, Ubuntu is very easy for the beginner, beginner in Linux operating system. So I will choose the Ubuntu for the Linux operating system. Okay, yeah, this one is BIOS, Basic Input Output System. BIOS or Basic Input Output System is a program which is accessed by processor during startup to make sure all of the basic hardware such as hard drive, port, peripheral, and CPU in good condition. Okay, this is the user interface of the BIOS. Have you ever seen this before? Yeah. Yeah, like this one. Yeah. So actually, when you turn on your computer, then you press maybe F10 or F11 button. So you will 
uh, access this user interface, right? So this one is BIOS. You can use the BIOS for setting the time, the time or the date for your computer. And also maybe you can uh, check that your peripheral devices like hard drive is already connected to your computer or not. And you can also get the information about the processor type of your computer. Yeah, this one is Intel Pentium 4. Yeah, it's all very old, very old uh, processor. And also you can get the information about the processor speed and the memory, the total memory of your DDR. You can get this information from the BIOS, right? So actually the BIOS user interface will be different each other. Every computer or every manufacturer will have their own BIOS user interface. So maybe ASUS, yeah. ASUS motherboard will be different with the MSI. Yeah, it depends on the manufacturer of your, of your computer. Okay. BIOS tasks are initialization, testing all hardware connected to computer or power on self test. So the BIOS task is make sure that all of the peripheral devices is already connected and can work and start the operating system. Set some basic configuration in the computer like date, time, memory configuration and building configuration. So this is the task of the BIOS. Introduction and brief description of Windows 10 installation. So actually, I know your computer is already uh, run in Windows 10 operating system. What What is the version of your Windows? Windows 10 or, or late, uh, Windows yeah, 10? Windows, or 10 Windows, 7? Windows 10, okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to install Windows 10 in your computer, but actually I just uh, give the brief description about the Windows 10 installation. Maybe have you ever tried to install the Windows 10 in your computer? Maybe yeah, Windows 10 yeah. or Windows 10? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how do you do that? How you install your operating system? Can you tell me about the process? Uh, just run Windows 10 and then do not hit. And it's take quite a while so to do not hit so. Okay. Then where you download the ISO of your Windows 10? I don't remember, so default cut. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can use Microsoft Azure, right? The student in Uba, yeah, actually have the access to Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure is, yeah, maybe it's like a cloud cloud service. You can download the, the operating system, Windows 10 on there, and you can access this link, imagine.ubaya.ac.id, then you will direct it to the Microsoft Azure. Then you need to log in, in with your student account. So student account in, the, in your Ubaya, you can use that student account to log in to Microsoft Azure. And you can also download the several software like Windows 10, Visual Studio, SQL Server, and you can download from there. So yeah, you have download your Windows 10, right? So looky. You tell it. You tell me yeah, that yeah. you you download. You have download the Windows 10. Then what 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 do you do after that? After you download the Windows 10 installation, then what do you do? What will uh, you? Just use the application, sir. Okay. Like usual. Then uh, you need your USB drive, right? For for installing the Windows 10, right? You you use. Okay. DVD drive or USB drive? No, from inside of the computer. I'm sorry? I just downloaded it uh, from the computer, sir. Okay, you, you just downloaded it, but you, you don't use it at all? Yeah, I use it, but I didn't use DVD or uh, uh, flash disk or something like that. I just downloaded it like usual in the computer, sir. So how do you install the Windows 10? So you you have downloaded, right? So what do you do after uh, that? Sorry, I'm update. <laughs> so what? Update it to Windows 10. Okay. So you you update the Windows 10 from yeah from, uh, from maybe the old version of your Windows Windows 7. Then you 
then you update your Windows, Windows into Windows 10. Right? Yeah, I, uh, if okay. I'm not wrong, in the computer, there's some notification if you want to update to Windows 10, and then I said yes, and then it just updated to Windows 10. So. Okay. So actually, you, 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 you have not installed Windows 10, you just update your Windows yeah. from Windows 7. So yeah, Windows. sorry, I mean, Okay, excellent. Yeah, so. uh, what will you do if your computer has no operating system before? Then you want to install Windows 10. So this is the step for you. This is the step for you. If you, if your computer has no operating system, then you want to install the Windows 10 on your computer. So first of all, you need to install the ISO of the Windows from yeah. Actually, you can use your student account in Microsoft Azure. Then. You need minimum 8 gigabyte for installing your Windows 10. So you need to USB drive for, yeah, for installing Windows 10 in your computer. So actually, when you want to install Windows 10, you need to put Windows 10 installation files in <coughs> USB drive, not in your hard drive, but your in your USB drive, right? So after that, we will use that USB drive as a bootable. As a Windows bootable, for create for creating USB bootable Windows, you need Windows 7 USB download tool, and Rufus. This is the tools for installing the Windows 10. So actually, yeah, maybe you are you interested to download, or maybe you interested to install the Windows 10. You can uh, you can use this step. Then after that, yeah, this one is Windows 7 USB download tool. You just need to browse your Windows Windows ISO file. Then, then you need to choose in your BIOS first boot device into USB HDD. So actually, when you uh, by default your computer will your your computer will not use the USB flash drive to put to as a first boot device. So you need to change the first put device into you into the USB HDD like this one okay yeah yeah you can follow this step so actually we will not uh, focusing on the Windows 10 installation because your computer is already installed Windows 10 right so we can skip this process but if you interest to maybe you have all computer in your home then you want to uh, use the computer and you can Maybe you can use Windows 10 as the operating system of your old computer, right? Okay. Okay, any question? So it's pretty clear, I, I think we will focusing on Windows operating system and Linux operating system, and we will use Ubuntu for the Linux operating system. Maybe uh, from now you can download the Ubuntu from the web. Okay, I will. So you, maybe, yeah, we will use Ubuntu on week eight, but actually you can download from now, Ubuntu, just uh, type Ubuntu in, in the Google. Then we will use the newest version of Ubuntu. So yeah, just download. Then the latest version of Ubuntu is 20, 20.04. So 20, it means the years because now it's 2020. So the version of the Ubuntu is 20, then 04. 04 is the month. So the latest version of Ubuntu is 2020 in April, right? So 2020 in April. So actually, Ubuntu will update every version, update the version every six months. So after this, in the uh, October, right? October, we will get the newest version of the Ubuntu. So yeah, it's better if you download on October, right? Because uh, maybe uh, eight weeks after this, we will get the new newer version of Ubuntu, right? In eight weeks after this, because we will use the Ubuntu eight weeks later. So you better download in October because we will get the newer version of Ubuntu. Okay. Then 
you also need to use uh, you also need to download virtualbox have you ever heard about the virtualbox yes okay virtualbox no. is uh, you can run two operating system at the same time maybe oh. you like uh, you can right now you are uh, running on this operating system right so we will run two operating system at the same time so we can use the virtual box so the second operating system which is ubuntu we will install it on the virtual box so i will show you how to use it you know that now i i am using mac mac os for my main operating system but i also has windows operating system on this computer i will show you yeah like this one i have two operating system at the same time and it's run together Now I'm running on Mac OS, then I also have Windows 10 in my computer, so like this one. I can run two operating system at the same time, right? So this is the Windows and this is Mac operating system. Then if you are running on Windows, you can also run on Linux operating system at the same time, okay? Like this one. It's We call it as virtualization. So we have operating system inside inside the operating system right and it, it can uh, run together like this one okay any question um how do we install the ubuntu server or yeah um, you will show us later i will show i will show it to you later in week eight but actually i just uh maybe i just show to you that i have two operating system at the same time okay like this one so yeah we will uh, i will uh, talk to you i will teach you about the about how to install the linux operating system in virtualbox in week eight okay but actually you can download the virtualbox from now and maybe you you interest you are interested to uh, try right now you can just download it and install it okay but I will, uh, we will discuss it on week eight, right? After midterm exam. So don't worry, I will uh, show to you step-by-step step how to install the Linux, how to install the VirtualBox. But from uh, right now in, uh, in the first week, I just want to show you that we, I have a true operating system that can run together at one computer, right? So like this one. So actually, you can use your operat uh, Windows operating system as your main operating system. Then you can also install the Linux operating system inside your Windows, like this one. Okay, okay any question, maybe? Sure. No? So, yeah. Wait, sir, one question. Uh, how do we download the virtual box, sir? Virtual box, okay. You can just search on the Google. Then you can download from the virtualbox.org. And uh, you, you better to download the newest version of virtual box. The newest version is 6.1. 6.1, right, 6.1. Then after that, 
uh, it's better for you to download the Linux, the Ubuntu on October because on October uh, we will get the newer version of the Ubuntu, right? So we will use the newest version of VirtualBox and newest version of Ubuntu. Okay. Uh -huh. And if we want to download the uh, VirtualBox, which one should we click there? I mean, there's so many things. In Sorry, there. you can you can share your screen, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I will stop my share first. If you have any question, you can just share your screen and tell me about the problem. Wait. Uh, it's disabled, yeah. sir. I have enabled it. Oh, all right. Uh, so which one should we click sir? Is, is, it, is it this Windows one? Windows The Linux one? Windows. Yeah, Windows host. Oh, this one. Okay. Because you are using the Windows, right? So you yes, cho sir. choose the Windows host. Windows host, it means it will, your main operating system is Windows. Okay. After that, you just install it, click next, 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 after and then finish. Then, if you are interested to try to install the Linux, you can download the Ubuntu 20.04, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. But don't worry, I will tell you about the step by step of the of the installation of Linux. But but we will discuss it on week eight, right? From week one to week seven, we will focusing on Windows operating system, how to administer it the Windows operating system. Then after midterm exam, we will try to discuss about how to administrate in Linux operating system, right? So any question? So first week is just introduction, introduction of from you, introdu introduction from me, and the introduction from the from this course operating system, right? So if you don't have any question, or maybe you, you still, uh, you have any question after this, you can use the Google Classroom. So you just post this from the stream, from the stream tab, you can just uh, tell me about the problem and you can ask about anything in a product system, right? Okay, any yes. question? No, sir. Don't have any question. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you for your attention. So we will uh, meet again on Wednesday, next Wednesday, by using the same Zoom link. So you just have one Zoom link. You can just click from the Google Classroom and we will use that links for the next 14 weeks. Okay? Thank you, yes, thank you. Good morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.